All right, next up, what we need to do is uh, create a file that I'm gonna call Apollo. In this file, I am going to do the setup of Apollo offline, all right? I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to import all the stuff I gotta need, I gotta use, and here I'm going to export this client to my React Apollo provider. So let's do the import from stuff. Let's do Apollo client because we need Apollo client from Apollo client, bravo. We also need in-memory cache. In memory, you know what? Just I say from Apollo cache in memory, and it's gonna tell me in memory cache. In memory cache. There we go. I'm gonna do import. I used to have like a I used to have a shortcut for import. Alright. I'm gonna use with client state. Yeah. What the fuck? Alright with client state and I need Apollo link, Apollo link. All right. Awesome. So now first we need to create a cache object. So I'm going to say new in memory cache. All right. This is like the manual way when you're using Apollo boost, you're doing this automatically. They're doing it for you. All right. In our case, we're doing almost everything that Apollo um, boost is doing, except that we don't you take all the all the internet API uh, online part away. All right. Now I'm going to say const state link, All right? State link. I name it link because of one reason. Basically everything in Apollo becomes a link. You can make a link to an HTTP. So that would be an HTTP link. There is an error link to handle errors. There is a state link to link with the state. All right. So I'm going to use a state link. You can name it however you want. And this equals with client state. And this bad boy requires the configuration for the client state. All right, here. So he needs uh, the default state, such as I don't know the nodes. He needs uh, type definitions. He needs the resolvers and whatever. This means that here is where we put all the logic of our application. So all the logic will be on with client state. We are going to write resolvers for the offline stuff. We're going to write type definitions. We are going to write default state. All that stuff goes here, okay? Because this is with the client state. So I'm gonna create a new file real quick. And I'm going to call it offline state. Now let's just call it client state .js. And this is going to be export const resolvers. Let's just make them empty export const defaults. Let's just make this empty and export const type definitions. Let's just make it empty. All right, I should put the defaults first. All right. And now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to say cache because the client state needs he needs a cache he needs where am I going to save the client state and then he needs the type definitions and then he needs the re defaults and he needs the resolvers all right and I'm going to import all these fuckers type devs defaults and resolvers from not default sorry defaults from client state. All right. For now, it's just everything empty. Okay, everything is empty for now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say client and we're going to create a new client, Apollo client. All right. And this gets the cache. And the link will be an Apollo link from state link. Here, what you will do is that you will create an HTTP link and you will make a link from HTTP link with an error link and whatever. Or you will put a WebSocket link for the subscriptions or, or, or all that stuff. All right. And now we're going to say export default client. And we are happy. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Everything good. Sexy. Now, here on the React DOM render. To render our app, we need to include the Apollo provider. So I'm going to say Apollo provider from React Apollo. All right. 
and I'm also going to import the client from uh, Apollo all right and I'm gonna render I'm gonna say Apollo provider app and Apollo provider needs a client which will be client all right John start and let's see what's up okay so we inspect how many errors no errors perfect and the css that i added on the inject defaults is working in the global styles is working all right so this is how easy it is to set up apollo for for uh, offline like i told you when i tried to when i was trying to make this course i tried to set this up with um sorry i tried to set this up with um Apollo Boost and it didn't work, okay? And I didn't know it because an Apollo Boost uh, HTTP link is required. So that's why we have to do it like this. And that's it. On the next video, we're going to get ready to do the type definitions, the defaults. And then at the end, of course, we're gonna do the resolvers because on the resolvers is where all the logic is, all right? We are going to do all the logic here. We are going to work on the logic with in this in the apollo dev tools that i forgot to mention you need to download them they're called apollo client developer tools we're going to test all our resolvers here we're going to execute all the queries here we're going to do all that stuff here and then when we know it works we're going to just put it in the html css and that's it okay see you on the next one bye bye